Hey everyone, Michelle and Alexandria here. I am back with my first video in a few weeks. As many of you know, I recently relocated to Orlando, Florida. And I gotta say, it was the move from hell. I actually totaled my car in South Carolina and I thought I was gonna die. I, I really did think I was gonna die. I lost all my stuff in the car crash. So no more gaming videos for a while, no more much of anything for a while from me because I did lose a lot of stuff and now I gotta decide if I'm gonna replace it or not. I'll probably end up getting a PlayStation 4 but I'm gonna wait until uh, until after E3 to get it, and I'll probably get a God of War Special Edition or something. I'm trying to decide if I want another PS4 Pro or just get a PS4 because I loathe the PS4 Pro. Um, it is a waste of money. It the 4K aspects of it really suck, um, and I don't know. And I don't think I'm getting another Xbox. And I lost my Switch as well because. It, the side of the car that got destroyed is the side that my electronic case, my electronic tube was on. So the car just kind of went right into the, the curb, hit right into that stuff and just shattered everything. And it's a good thing I sold my beloved OLED because it definitely wouldn't have survived the trip. Because my cheap Vizio TV that I had brought with me, my beloved Vizio, um, was shattered was absolutely shattered in that thing. And, I, and I've had that Vizio TV for five years, for actually eight, six years, maybe six years, seven years. Um, it was one of Vizio's very first 3D TVs. Um, they actually sent it to me. They sent me the 40 inch, 40 inch and the 55 inch version. And I ended up giving away the 55 to a friend. And I just took the 40. That was gonna be the TV I was gonna use for the, le for the next uh, three or four months until August, until the new models came out. Because the problem is we're in the middle of model switching and I don't want to buy last year's model. When I buy stuff, I want to buy the latest and greatest versions of it, not last year's version, because I always feel like I was ripped off. <laughs> so with all that said, my next TV will be a LG C8, unless you know Samsung gives me something that I really, gives me something new this year. Like if they came out with full array local dimming on their QLED, QLEDs and actually made the damn things affordable, I would actually get a QLED instead of an OLED. Um, but I'm not paying $2,000 for a freaking LCD TV, and especially not an edge LCD TV. And Sony's out of the question because I can't stand Sony as a company and I hate their products. Only reason why I'm getting a PS4 Pro is because I do want to play the games but otherwise, I avoid Sony stuff like the Plague, even though I'm shooting this on a Sony 4K camcorder, which I kind of hate because it doesn't always record in 4K like it's supposed to. So anyway, with that said, I needed a stopgap TV. So I bought the TCL Roku uh, TV, the, P the famous P605, which everyone claims is the best budget TV you could buy right now. And um, it does hit, it does tick off all the points that I want in the TV. It has, four, it has 4K HDR, it supports full Adobe Vision out of the box, which is another reason why I refuse to buy a Sony TV because they, they're just playing games with their customers, you know, promoting that the 800, that the 900 F will support Adobe Vision, but you know, sometime in the future where the, if last year's in the indication, they they had TVs out on the market for a year before they finally instituted Adobe Vision support, and then they broke it. And I'm like, I don't trust Sony, I just don't. I think it's a shitty company. Overall, I hate them. Um, so I was actually looking forward to the 900F, but then I was like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm not going to like it. I hated the 900E. And again, it came out last week, and there's no Dolby Vision support out of the box. They're like, oh, just sometime in the future. What, well, damn it? They just imp implemented Dolby Vision on the 930 and 940E and a stream processing chip. Uh, TVs in the 900F has, has the brand, has the stream processing chip now. So you would think Dolby Vision would be available out of the box for that. So I'm like, screw them. Just screw them. I'm not paying for their TV unless it has, I'm not buying anything 
unless it has every feature it says it's going to have out of the box. I'm just not. And if they're promoting Dolby Vision for their TVs and their VCRs and uh, in players and all that crap, then I full well expect it to be in the box when I bring it home and open it up. I don't want to have all this, well, you know, let's just wait and see. Hell, LG, their, D, their UHD player just now got their Adobe Vision patch. Just now. And that, that damn thing's been on the market since last March. A year. These companies shouldn't be allowed to get away with this crap. I don't, I don't understand how that's not legal, how that, how this is legal. It's bait and switch. And yeah, it'll yeah, come out, but who knows when the hell it's going to come out or how they're going to implement it. And I just don't trust Sony. I don't trust any company that tries to sell me something based on a promise of some damn firmware update. No, if I'm spending my money, I expect it to work the way, the way it's advertised. Screw that wait, wait and pray on the firmware update guys to get what you pay for. Screw that crap. Um, so yeah, my next TV probably will be will, will be an LG. It probably it will be the C8. Um, barring that, I'm kind of seriously looking at the Nano TVs. I kind of like those. Um, but in the meantime, I broke down and paid six hundred dollars for this Roku TV because everyone claimed everyone. Claims it's the best TV, best budget TV you could buy. And I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't think it is. Um, I like the fact that it has full array local dimming. So there is hardly, I haven't seen any black light bleed on this TV at all, which is really nice. Um, it also has HDR and Dolby Vision out of the box. And I know I harp on Dolby Vision a lot. And honestly, just between you and me, I really can't tell the difference between Dolby Vision and regular HDR, but I like the fact that my TVs have it because I want to be as feature-proof as possible, which is kind of an impossible goal to set, but, you know, if I get a TV, I want it to have everything um, that uh, that's currently supported on in the marketplace, and LG provides that, and this TCL Roku um, at least gives you Dolby Vision and HDR10, so I'm pretty happy with that. My problem with the TV is I think the interface is clunky as heck. I've never been a fan of Roku's interface. One of the things I like about Roku is that every app you could possibly want, you can find, um, but then you're getting into the game of managing apps and and if you look at this, I'm basically stuck in scrolling heck, and I can never find the app that I really want without scrolling, 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 scrolling through. And I think the menu navigation is really plain. I also hate the fact that it, this advertising right here, I wish I could show you a clip or something to show you what the video quality, what the picture quality is on this TV. But YouTube would just block it, so why bother? And yes, I lost my YouTube partnership, but I don't care. I don't really care about YouTube all that much. I do this stuff um, to kind of help promote my website, EclipseMagazine.com. Um, and that's pretty much the only reason why I post this stuff on YouTube. It's like having a bit a free hosting provider. But, you know, their, their partnership is a one-way partner, quote-unquote partnership, where basically it's their way or the highway. They, uh, they pay you pennies on it, pennies per thousand. You, it's imp nearly impossible to make money on YouTube. Don't believe, don't believe the hype people. Don't believe all these people claim that, that they're making thousands and thousands of dollars. They just aren't. You have to have hundreds of, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, subscribers and people viewing your videos in order to make even a couple of thousand dollars a month. So when, when you see these small channels claiming uh, like 20,000 subs claiming they're making all this money, they're not. They're BSing you. I mean, just go look it up. They're BSing you. So anyway, back, back to this video. So I just don't like the interface. It's really weirdly kind of plain, and, and it's, there's nothing exciting about it at all. And here, let me just click on some stuff. I'm not going to show you any clips. Um... And I haven't really, I, I just switched cable providers, so I haven't really gotten around to setting. I'm still dealing with the car accident. I just bought a new car the other day, and I actually may do my very first car review tomorrow. So you can see my pretty face on camera. i actually been buying some clothes the last couple of the last couple of days. So I went from wearing one outfit every day to now having five outfits. Wow. I, I hate this. I, I basically, I've... 
I practically started my new job but naked in on crutches. That's how bad that accident was. I only had one change of clothes for a week and my ankle was basically kind of semi-fractured for a few days and by miracle of miracles, my ankle got to the point where I could walk without crutches like the day before I started my new job. So I was basically just limping around for like the last week and now my ankle's pretty much fine. I still need to go see a doctor just to make sure nothing's broken. Um, but yeah, the, the doctor at the emergency room told me it was kind of, I, I had a bone in the middle of the outer a bone in the middle of the outer bone that was slightly fractured. So I'm not sure quite what that means, but I actually couldn't walk. I had to use crutches for about three or four days for the first time in my entire life. And I don't even think I was using it properly. Um, the other thing I hate about this TV is I hate the um, these ads on the side. It takes up needed space because I would rather have my icons going across the screen, like on the Apple TV. Instead, all this white space is wasted by this. This TV also had, and I know this is rambling and I'm all over the place, but you know, it's just kind of the mood I'm in. Um, but the TV also has three HDMI ports, one of them being an HDMI arc. It has a coaxial port and it has a USB port. So this TV is really good in terms of ticking off all the uh, features that you would want on a new modern TV. The only thing, that, the reason why I'm returning it is A, again, I don't like the road, I don't like this interface at all. This interface, I, I just I just like, the only two TV interfaces I really like are WebOS on LG and Samsung's, uh, I think they call it Tensing. Those are the only two TV interfaces that I really, really, really like. I mean, I like having another thing flying at the bottom where I could just simply scroll and see all my apps in one place. If I want this, I'll just up, look at my Apple TV. Um, so, so yeah, this, yeah, but the one nice thing about Roku is it is platform agnostic, so you can pretty much find any available app you could possibly want here. Um, but I also find most of the, um, what? You can't get sci-fi sci on Roku players anymore. What the hell? What, what the hell is that? I, and I just find most of the apps to be kind of plain in terms of how they're developed and designed. They, they don't look too modern to me. Um, so I'm trying to find something that I could show, but, but yeah, a, a lot of these apps just don't do anything for me. Another reason, the other reason why I'm, I'm returning this TV is I just, I just don't think it looks all that great. I mean, the colors look really, and again, keep in mind, I'm coming from an OLED and I am an OLED lover. So don't waste your time commenting, telling me I'm an OLED lover. Yes, I'm an OLED lover. I'm allowed to like what I like and that's it. Deal with it or don't. I don't give a shit. Don't waste your time commenting on my videos. I don't want your comments. I'm not inviting your comments. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't comment. Period. Move on. Go on with your life. Um, this is not a review. I'm not a reviewer. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional technology reviewer. I just come at this stuff as a normal Joe average consumer, as a woman who likes technology. And, and, and but I don't want to. I don't want to play around with stuff. I just want stuff to work. And when I plug it in, and I want the navigation to be tight and all that kind of stuff. Now, fortunately, this TV doesn't do that at all. Um, so, so yeah, that's the angle I come at all my tech reviews from is that, you know, I'm a female <laughs> and I love technology and, but I don't want, I don't want technology to take over my life. I want to fit in with my life. And this TV kind of feels like it's more hassle than it's worth. And the picture quality just isn't that great. I mean, there are times when I look at it and it looks, and it looks fine. Like when I was watching... I binge watched a TV show on Netflix called The Greenhouse Effect, and that The Greenhouse, and that that picture looked beautiful. It was sharp. It was sharp. It was clear. It was nice. And then I turned on the Apple TV, and everything on the Apple TV looks terrible with this TV. And I don't know why that is, because the Apple TV, which ironically enough is the only electronic device that survived my crash, that and my MacBook, because my MacBook was in the in the front. Um, padded and the front area of the car actually wasn't 
or at least because of the airbags, I guess. But yeah, and it it is an S show. I may I may do a separate video and show you all photos and stuff of the crash. But yeah, I just don't like this interface at all. So you hear see, and if anyone wants to send me a gaming console, I wouldn't say no because or or send me a brand new UHD player or something. I wouldn't say no because I just don't have anything anymore. Um, and all my Blu-rays and DVDs, my brother has um, at his house because I didn't feel like lugging 2,000 Blu-rays down to Florida this time, and I don't feel like paying the mover. To, I just don't want to deal with physical media much anymore. I have everything digital. I have everything on my iTunes. I think I'm just going to stick with that for a while, even though I know me. Um, plus, companies keep sending me stuff anyway. Um, so I'm going to eventually have to break down and get a uh, get a new uh, UHD player. So that's probably when the Xbox One X will come in and play instead of getting a stand a standalone UHD player like another Samsung or LG. I will probably just get an Xbox One X. I know it doesn't look as good as the Samsung, um, but you know at least I can play 4K games as well. And that'll cover both my game consoles. So I have the Xbox One X and the PlayStation. Um, plus, I hate the fact that I have so many games on both consoles. So I, I really want that stuff. And this is when digital is really great because, again, um, some of the games that I was currently playing, I actually did have in my car. So I had about 15 of those in my car along with my PlayStation. And again, all that stuff got destroyed in the accident. But I had that stuff in a digital locker, and I had already returned my Xbox One X, but I have all those games still in my digital locker, so if I buy a new console, I just re have to re-download everything. So that's the, the one nice thing about digital. Um, I just don't trust, I just don't trust digital systems. But again, back to the Roku TV, I'm sorry for the rambling nature of this video, but it's just kind of the mood I'm in. Um, so yeah, if you go, I just don't, I just don't like the TV. I don't like how the navigation is a little confused. It's not confusing. It's just really busy, but simple at the same time. And I'm not sure how that's possible. And as you can see, you go here, you see your system stuff in the game playing. Um, but you're stuck in scrolling hell. And then, and again, I'm just used to uh, Web OS and the elegance of Web OS and the elegance of Samsung Tensing system because I had a Samsung UHD player. And those are those are the four, those are the smart hubs that I really like using. This stuff I just don't like at all. It's it's just terrible. And I wish I could show you. Um, I really do wish I could show you stuff. But, you know, it's just going to get blocked, so why bother? So, anyway, this is the Roku P605, and again, this is not a review. This is just me rambling about some of the features and things I, things I like and don't like about this TV. And for the most, and I would say I like 75% of it. It's just the other 25% I don't like, and I just don't think the colors are vibrant at all. The colors are just drab to, look drab to me and flat. Um, and especially once HDR is activated, and like and like I said, I watch, I tried watching John Wick, Happy Death Day, and Justice League on 4K uh, Adobe Vision on my on my iTunes account, and all of that stuff just looked terrible. It looked washed out. It looked dark and drabby. Um, and Justice League is a dark and drabby movie to begin with, so that's not even a fair comparison. But everything else was just kind of blah. And, was, and I had watched some of that stuff on my OLED, where the colors just really popped. And I know you can't compare OLED to this, but, you know, I, I just wanted more vibrancy, and I just didn't feel that with this TV. So I, the long and short of it is I exchanged it last night for a brand new 55-inch Vizio ME1 series TV, and I should be getting that on Monday, and I think at $600, I can live with that until August, and in August, because it's my birthday month, I'll save 10% at Best Buy, and then it's the end of, at the end of the month, it's Labor Day or Memorial Day, whatever, whatever that weekend is, there's always a huge 20 and 30% off sale. So between that and my 10%, I'll save 40% off my next TV. And that's when I'll splurge and go all in on something really nice. And then I'll put the Vizio 
into my bedroom. So anyway, that's all, folks. Talk to you later. And again, I'm glad I survived, but I really thought I was going to die in that car accident. And I will do, I will do a video on my Ford EcoSport. Um, it'll be my first car review, so maybe I'll do that in, in the next week or so. I also have been binge watching a lot of fall, upcoming TV shows. I watch Bellevue. I already watched the first five episodes of I Zombie uh, for next season. I already watched Jessica Jones. And um, I'm watching Krypton tonight. So I have all of that stuff coming in the pipe, coming up. And you'll get to see my pretty face again. Although you're going to see my old hair because I had to take my braids out before I came down here. I can't find a black beauty salon. I need to find a black beauty salon to make me look pretty. So I'll do that at some point. Um, but instead, you're going to get to raw me. So talk to you guys later. Bye.